And we need your help in making this the safest big city in America. While we have some success throughout this year, our work does not and will not stop. Right now at six, Columbus City leaders announcing new safety initiatives just hours after several shootings in the city. Just in the last 24 hours, our Crime Tracker 10 team mapped out four different shootings. Three people total were hurt, but all are expected to be okay. Mayor Andrew Ginther is proposing two new laws, both targeted to cut down on crime in popular areas like the short north. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp is live there now with details on what the city wants to change. Lacey? Well, there have been several high profile shootings in the entertainment district and now a homicide. City leaders say they're going to do what they can to make sure this area is safe. It's a great area. It's, it has a lot of energy. It has a lot of um, people who are just out and about and there's just a really good community here too. Victoria Menser has lived in the short north for more than two years and admits the recent violence has her startled. It is definitely concerning that there's the increase in crime. It is no secret we have seen an uptick in violence and other challenging activities throughout the short north recently, especially at night. To calm those fears, city leaders came together to explain what safety measures are in place and what additional plans they're working on. We're advancing two ordinances to Columbus City Council designed to address noise concerns and the dangerous late night activity that has recently occurred near mobile food vendors. Through funding from the city and partnerships, the Short North Alliance has created a safety interdiction team of officers who patrol the area during busy times. Since March, they say they have taken 14 guns off the streets. But do you think something more or different needs to happen given the fact we're sitting here uh, just 36 hours after a homicide has happened? And we have talked about several shootings in the Short North District in the last month or two. Yeah, it's it's so important for these efforts to continue. And um, uh, just because there's been successes in some efforts does not mean that we should stop. Metzer says she feels better knowing leaders are being proactive. When there is active response and active presence, which there appears to be, um, there is a relativity of, unfortunately, things happen in this world. And Mayor Ginther did not give a timeline about when he'll ask council to consider the ordinances. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.